Hi everyone. This is a pick a card reading. Now it is actually been recorded for my pick a card with Lou G channel, um, which is my sister channel. It is purely dedicated to the pick a card readings. So if you're not interested in like the daily messages that which I send out, please check out the channel that is completely dedicated to pick a card readings because you can subscribe on there and get all the videos you, i won't be posting every single pick a card on this channel this is more for the daily messages for the zodiacs etc so if you want the pick a card readings check out the readings on the pick a card with luji channel subscribe and i will see you again soon enjoy take care bye bye Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is your pick a card reading. We are today looking at the question, what do you need to be focused on at this time? What do you need to focus on? Where are you growing? Where are you developing? Where are you learning? Okay, so as always, there are three piles. We have pile one with the green adventuring. We have pile two with the amethyst and we have pile three with the lapis lazuli. OK, these are timeless readings. So as and when you come across this, it is when you are meant to see it. In addition, if you have any ideas for questions in the future, something that you want us answering, just pop it in the comments box below. Let me know if you've got any questions that you are in need of hearing an answer for. And I will add it to my list of readings that I will do in the future. OK, so having said that, let's jump in and have a look at these cards. OK, so we are drawing in the energies. Draw a deep breath in with me. Hold it and release. Close your eyes and bring yourself to that place of calm. Breathe in. Hold it. And release. Do this as many times as you need to do. Then open your eyes and feel which pile of cards is drawing you in. OK, which cards are your eyes instinctively drawn to? Which do you feel that tug at your heart to follow? Once you have decided, please feel free if you've not decided yet um, to press pause. But if you have decided, I'm going to jump into the messages now. Click below to have a look at the timestamps in that box as well. There is everything that you need to know about personal readings, where to find me, etc. The decks that I use. Click below, check out what the timestamps are and fast forward to your message now. Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here. This is your reading if you chose pile one with this green adventuring crystal. Okay, so the focus is what should you be focused on at this time? I've drawn the cards already, so let's jump into the reading. The first card out was the personal growth personal growth with the moon in Taurus okay it is number 14 which I've just seen there reduces down to five which is all about change so this is about you seeking those pearls of wisdom is what I am um, I'm feeling I'm very drawn to those you are wanting to grow you need to uncover the pearls of wisdom within you see the beauty that is within you with this self-esteem it is saying that it's time for you to really stand in your power and to recognize yourself as being the wonderful person that you are Secondly, we have success after a setback. 
eclipse in Sagittarius and again it is with growth so it could be that you started on this journey of building yourself up you got to a place where you was feeling quite good about yourself and then for some unknown reason you've sort of slipped back it could be that you've fallen back into old ways of being going back thinking over your life which has then dredged up all these old feelings of unworthiness now is a time for you to pick yourself back up because this time it's going to be successful you do need to keep working for it if you want success you do need to work for it so it's very much about you focusing on yourself growing yourself being your best self knowing that you are worthy of a good life knowing that you are worthy of good relationships that you are worthy of stability as well it could be as well that you are growing in order that you can teach others how to grow too because with this Sagittarius energy in here it's very much we have Taurus and Sagittarius. Taurus is very much about stability. Sagittarius is quite freedom loving. It's quite the polar opposites. But I'm feeling it's about balancing these, the both of them. And as I was saying, Sagittarius is like the philosopher, the teacher, the person. Um, it's an energy that is very much about growing and learning but learning so that you can teach others as well so if you are going through this personal growth stage know that this time it could be successful we have let yourself receive allow others to give you loving care receive without guilt or apology which just goes in with this self-esteem side of things it's really about recognizing that you are worthy of love. You are lovable, regardless of what anyone has said to you in the past, regardless of how you actually feel. Now is the time for you to really open up to that and realize that, yes, you deserve to receive as well. You could be someone that is very given, that um, is quite easy to spend their time with another giving to another all the time but then you don't get anything back you cut it off it may be that there are people there in your life that are actually trying to give you something but you are just so closed off that you're not allowing it to come in now is the time to open yourself up open yourself up by realizing that you are actually worthy of what is trying to come to you we then have dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself, see yourself succeeding. So again, success, success. And it is saying about small thoughts as well. This is what I'm feeling is when you actually start looking at yourself and you realize how wonderful you are, you i've just heard it the world is your oyster of course pearls come from the oyster don't they um this is about you stepping in your power so that you can go and live a successful life so that you can be truly happy if you've got these dreams until you can step into your power and recognize the majesty is what I'm hearing. When you can recognize the majesty within yourself, that is when these dreams will start to come true. And it's not about playing small for you. It is about really dreaming big. Think of your wildest, biggest dreams. Where would you like to be? And stay focused on them. But first, you just need to accomplish the recognizing that you are worthy of these dreams, that you are worthy of having what it is you desire in your life we also have guilt we have growth again another card so this is the third card talking about growth and it says i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness you at this time group one one word for you growth be it personal be it business be it professional be it home life, whatever it is you are trying to grow, this is the time to focus on it. Stay focused on the growth. 
and acceptance. Okay, so with these guilt and acceptance cards, what they are like polar opposites, aren't they? Okay, what I'm feeling is you have held yourself back because you because of guilt. It could be that you are feeling guilty over things that have happened in the past and it's time to actually forgive yourself. It's not just about forgiving yourself, it's about forgiving others too. It's time to let it go. I'm being very much drawn again to that self-worth side of things, the self-esteem, building yourself up. If you have been made to feel guilty, if you have been... If previous relationships you have asked to be loved and you've not received it and you've been made to feel guilty for even asking to be loved. You may have been shamed and you are holding this guilt and it is stopping you from moving forward. Now, obviously, in a healthy relationship, you would not need to ask for love. You would not need to be begging for someone to love you and be with you and spend the time with you because it happens naturally. If someone is right for you, they will want to give that to you. But I've been I feel very much I'm getting drawn towards you have been in situations with people. It may not even be relationships. It may be family members. It may be within a work situation where you are almost begging to be recognized for your worth, that you are more worthy than what you are being recognized for. And it is everyone has knocked you down. You've been knocked down and knocked down and knocked down and you feel guilty now to ask. Just know that you do not need to ask. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of everything that you desire in your life. It's time to ditch that guilt. We are moving more towards acceptance and this is acceptance of yourself. OK, it does say I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change, but this isn't about what you can and cannot change, okay? This is just accepting you as you are. You are individual. You are yourself. You bring no end of skills to the table in whatever area of your life this is relating to. You are worthy of love. Recognize it and receive it, okay? You can have these big dreams. Recognize it and receive it and accept that you can have this okay you need to grow you need to move forward and your block at the moment is this self-worth you are not seeing yourself as worthy of having these connections of um you're not seeing those pearls within you the majesty of yourself okay so the animal spirit that is coming forward for you today is the snow leopard take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude okay so this i'm feeling is asking you to very much spend a bit of time thinking about things looking back over your life this is like um like the judgment card the overview of your life what has gone on all your previous thoughts are no longer serving you okay they're no longer serving you because they're not true that's what i'm feeling they are not true it is time for you to raise up because what i'm feeling with this you may have started to do that personal growth and then something's come in it's wiped your feet from underneath you and it has sent you back into those old patterns those old behaviors not giving to yourself. This is very much full of self-love, this um, this reading. Accept yourself and love yourself. When you love yourself, that is when the miracles start to happen in life. That is when you will be at your the top of your game. You will be your best. You will understand that you are worth loving. You will understand that you are worthy of your dreams. You will attract to you the people that will also see your worth. OK, so spend time in meditation, looking deep within you, 
learning all you can about yourself because this is very much about discovering yourself discovering what you are capable of where you can go in life and owning it this is about owning your power growing into a magnificent being that has all this light shining from you because that is what you've got in you at the minute it's just been dimmed by all these different layers that have been bundled on top of you now it's time to shed those layers to grow and let that light shine out okay so i am going to use my unicorn cards here just for a final message which final message can we have for those that have chose group one pile one with the green adventure in what is a final message they need to receive today final message for group one please just one card please that one there we go seeking good look for good in your current situation but what i'm feeling sorry um is that this is seeking good in you this is knowing that there is good in you regardless of where you have been what you have um what people have said to you etc this is about owning your space knowing that you are good exactly as you are because this is current situation so if you're feeling low about yourself it doesn't matter how you're feeling about yourself there is still good there and that's why you're being asked to go into this quiet place to spend time with yourself so that you can actually start removing these layers and recognizing the good that is within you okay so for those of you that actually chose this um group one what do you need to be focused on at this time you need to be focused on your growth moving forward knowing that nothing can stop you that you have all you need within you to achieve those big dreams okay so focus on yourself and allow yourself to rise up no playing small anymore time to grow and rise up okay so if this is resonating with you please remember thumbs up and if you feel inclined click on that subscribe button but having said that you take care of yourselves know how much you are loved you are a wonderful being Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. So welcome back. This is your reading if you chose Pile 2 with this Amethyst Crystal. So we asked the question, what do Group 2 need to be focused on at this time? So the first card out we have is... The moon in cancer belonging a sensitive introspective phase so it could be that you are feeling quite lonely it could be that you have lived a life where you don't feel connected to those around you and um, i'm feeling it could have been a lonely life okay um never really connecting with people that are on the same sort of level as you um, there's always sort of like uncomfortableness there no one's really got you um, and there could be that feeling of what's wrong with me why is why can't I make friends etc and it is just very much that you need to be focusing on bringing about the changes it's maybe that's where you're focusing now anyway you are very much feeling that you don't belong and you just need to make some roots and settle down okay the next card out is eclipse in aquarius awakening okay wow so 
this is very much about connecting with others because with awakening obviously when you are awakened it means that you are more of the belief that we are all interconnected that we all belong together and i'm feeling that if you are in that stage of awakening you are realizing that do you know what you're not actually here to live an individual life you are meant to have people around you we are all connected with our thoughts with our feelings etc and you are really wanting to draw in people that you can can connect on at a level that is good for you i'm feeling very much this is about drawing in friendships people that belong with you rather than just running with the crowd i'm not feeling that all of you did that but there may be some of you that have just literally run with the crowd just to say that they have had friends in their lives that the people that you are hanging around with they don't really resonate with you on a deep level this is about the deeper level cancer is very very sensitive they are very very caring they're very feeling very nurturing and it could be that the people around you are drawn to you because they can see the benefits of what they can get from having a relationship with you um, obviously that's any kind of relationship but with your nurturing side, it may be that you take on those that are not always for your highest good. This is about you focusing on joining up with those that are in that same state of mind, that are awakened souls, that realize that, yes, we are individuals, but we are a collective. We are um, as one people that will actually accept you for your uniqueness someone that will be there for you no matter what just because you are who you are we have divine magic extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles so if you are looking for these soulmates these friendships that you can really connect with don't be dismissive of it. The universe is working in your favor. The universe wants you to have these friendships. They want It wants you to have these connections with others. And it is actually bringing that into you at this time. Protection. This is letting you know that you are safe to make these connections with, with people. Um, you may have steered away from people in the past not sure um whether it's for your highest good whether they are essentially good for you okay this is letting you know that these people that are coming in these are the people that will protect you and as they are protecting you you are protected by that higher force you are protected by the universe you are protected and it is safe for you to make these connections to have these friendships and to feel that belonging okay this is i'm very much feeling like the need to draw down those roots put down roots and bring those towards you that you really want in your life okay so stay optimistic um again your dreams are coming true don't quit right before the miracle occurs so this divine magic was talking about the miracle okay this could be a time to start making changes in your life that are going to allow you to draw people towards you it could be that you start going out um join local groups of interest um doing things that you like doing mixing with people of similar minds so whatever is your interest find a group because if you attend a group what you are interested in it will be attended by like-minded people and this is what i'm feeling this is about drawing those towards you that are very like-minded we have blessed changed yes so this is if you are currently in a position where you feel like you are completely deserted like you are on your own especially if you have gone through the awakening process yourself when you go through your awakening you strip back everything 
um, everything just falls away. What no longer um, fits with you, just sometimes you have to remove it yourself. In other situations, it literally just falls away. And this is telling you that there's going to be changes coming in. These are going to be blessed changes. The people that are coming to you are gifts from the universe for you. These are the people that you are meant to be spending time with. These are the people that will understand you on a deeper level okay we have self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others okay so this is just asking you to realize that do you know what you deserve to have friends because you have magic within you um even if you do not feel it okay you have this this light within you that you can share with others it's about it's about owning yourself about recognizing why people want to be around you because they recognize the light within you they see the good within you they see your deep personality they understand you know anyone that's coming in do not get into that um that feeling of not being worthy of those sorts of friends okay if there are people that are coming in and you hold them in high esteem hold yourself in that high esteem too because remember like attracts like and if you see them as worthy of high esteem you are attracting them and that is telling you that you are worthy of that high esteem too don't doubt yourself don't put yourself down okay just because you have had this feeling or this period of not connecting as well as what you want to it's not saying that it's because you're not worthy of it it's because it's saying you had to go through this phase to recognize what is good for you so the animal spirit that has come out is the gorilla it says take time to listen compassionately to those you love especially your family members okay so it could be um there could be family members that you haven't in the past listened to um to the full extent it may be that you've jumped into um, conclusions. It means that it could mean that you've isolated them because at that time you see what they was doing as something different to how they actually meant it. OK, so it could be a time for reconnecting with family members um, getting that sense of belonging. Belonging begins at home with your family it belongs um it starts with where you grew up your roots yes not everyone belongs and fits right in their family so obviously always use your discernment but this is about creating the family okay that's what i'm being drawn to now if you do not feel like you belong with your family then this is about making those connections with friends that will make you belong make you feel like you are part of a family and um, because family as is at the heart of everything it is about being connected and knowing each other and understanding each other and sometimes it's about recognizing that your real family are actually your friends the ones that are there for you always okay so i'm going to put you a final message from the unicorn cards i'm going to call in the angels guys keep the light please guide me at this time which final message do we have for group two group two's focus is on connecting with their soul tribe because that's what it is, isn't it? This is your soul tribe. Final message for group two. I've got one message above all messages, isn't it, highest? 
message for them to receive at this time? Which one message? There we go. Let's have a look what we have. Soul purpose. Act on your soul purpose today. So this, if you have been really disconnected from people, okay, if you have been extremely lonely and you've got to the point where it is now getting to the point where you're upset about how lonely you are, understand that everything that has gone on has gone on for a reason. It, you don't even need to be all that upset about being lonely. Just know that whatever has happened in your life, it has gone on for a reason. It has happened for a reason. So this has all been part of your sole purpose. You are now ready to start creating something new. This is about you putting down your roots and finding those that you belong with. Because there could have been a feeling of being really independent and making everything happen for you. And just being completely in control of everything that you do. And this is the realisation that, do you know what, you don't have to do it alone. That when you are with the right people, they support you and you never, ever feel alone. So just know, this time of being lonely, this time of not feeling like you belong, this time of not being connected with those of similar minds it is all changing we've got that blessed change here it is coming in the universe is conspiring you may not see it at this moment but it is actually conspiring to bring you towards those that should be in your life those that will make you feel um like you belong those friends that will actually feel like the family that you miss OK, so that is your reading group, too. If it's resonating, please remember that thumbs up. If you feel like it, please click on that subscribe button. But having said that, you take care of yourself. Know that you are never alone. You are never, ever, ever alone. The angels are with you always and they are working at this time on bringing forward to you those friendships that you truly need and desire. OK, so you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. So hi, welcome back. If you chose pile three for the question, what do you need to be focused on? This is your reading. So we have pile three with the lapis lazuli crystal. This is your reading. What do you need to be focused on? OK, so the first card out is a change in your emotional life. Moon in Scorpio transformation. OK, so there is lots of changes going on. You are seeing things differently because you are feeling things differently. Your emotions, it could be quite hard at this time. Um, I'm just feeling a lot of upsets, lots of epiphanies coming through, understandings of why things have happened. And it is changing the way you feel about things, the way you see things. Life is not the same as it used to be. Um, these feelings, these emotional times are very strong. Um, and it's, I'm feeling it could be taking its toll on you. Secondly, we have. Eclipse in Cancer, Acceptance, an Emotional Phase or Domestic Development. Okay, so again, it's emotional. It is very much playing on your feelings at this time. And that's where the focus needs to be. We have this acceptance. And I'm feeling it's just asking you to accept that this is where you are at this time. Yes, it may be turbulent. Yes, it may not be easy, but it's accepting the fact that you do need to go through this phase so that you can transform, so that you can start this new emotionally fulfilling phase of your life. This is about, it's more... It's more than going for what you want in life because 
there's so many times people get focused on the big house, the fantastic career, the wonderful love life. And sometimes it's almost like you forget the feelings behind it. This is about you connecting to those feelings and understanding that happiness comes from being fulfilled it is about emotional fulfillment it is with like with the tarot it is going for that ten of cups yes it's good to have the ten of pentacles where you've got all the material stuff around you etc but if you've got true fulfillment with that ten of cups that is where you want to be and this is very very watery energy here um We've got the water here and we've got water here. Cancer is a water sign. Um, let me just think. As is Scorpio. Yes. Yeah. Very emotionally charged time for you. So next card out is helpful person. Someone wants to help you think whom that might be. So you don't have to go through this alone. There are people there. It could be that these are new people coming in. These could be people that are already um, in your life. People who understand what you are going through. People that have gone through this transformation themselves. People that can guide you and help you as you go through it. And you've been reminded to rest. You've been working hard, take a nap and get some rest. When you get into this energy of looking at your emotions, when these epiphanies come forward um, that really shed a light on how things have been, it is emotionally exhausting. OK, so this is very much about you just taking the time that you need it's good. Sometimes the best thing that you can do or the best action you can take is to rest. OK, because rest in itself is action. It is you deciding that you have been through enough and you need to rest. Make sure as well you are drinking water. Um, obviously, these are mermaid cards. There's water in here, but every single one of these cards has got water in it at this point in time. Just remember to drink, remember to rest, take care of yourself as you are going through this. This is an emotional time. It is hard, but you are transforming. It's just time. You just need to accept it and go through it. Um, if that sounds harsh, then I'm sorry, but you've got to accept that this phase has got to be gone through in order for you to emerge out of the other side as this beautiful butterfly transform it and taking flight. Next card out is friendship. So yes, again, with that helpful person, it's saying, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. This is saying, um, someone wants to help you think whom you might be and initiate contact. There is definitely someone around you that can help you do this. Now, it could be someone who is actually in your personal life, or it could just be someone that you've met online in one of your interest groups, etc. There are people there that are supporting you. These are true friends. These are people that want the best for you, which is so, so important because at times, there are people that are quite self-centered and want what's best for them. This is someone that is coming to you and is there for you because they love you, because they have that bond with you. And it is a true friendship. Right. We also have envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. OK, so. If you are going through this emotional transformation, OK, if you are having hard times, it could be that you are getting these feelings of envy arising within you. What's happening here is purely that you are seeing people and you are seeing what they want the world to see. Everyone, it's that saying, isn't it? You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. And there is so it's a pressure these days, a massive pressure, especially put on with social media. 
um, to be the best that you can be always. And all you see are all these happy snaps of people happy and achieving this and achieving that. And you do not know what they have been through because people do not post up about the struggles that they have been through. They do not put up about anything that is deemed as negative. And it gives this false sense that they live this blessed life where nothing ever goes wrong. What we need to realize is we live in the 3D. We are here on Earth. We have 3 every day things happening that we all go through we all go through it. it's not just you others have been through their own um, transformations others have been through hardships yes it may not be the same as yours it may not be um what i'm feeling is The universe will never dish up to you anything that you cannot handle. So when you look at someone's life and you see a hardship that they've been through and you deem that to be easy. For you, it's easy because you have that strong character. You have that strength to get through so much. That is why the universe is chucking it at you at this time. OK. The other person maybe does not have the same strength, the same same qualities, etc. that you have. And something that feels small to you is absolutely massively huge for them. They struggle with something small the same way you struggle with something large. And that's what the feeling is. OK, you are different to everyone else. OK, what you experience is different to everyone else. Why? Because. You are given the trials and tribulations that you can handle and no one else can handle these trial and tribulations the way that you can. Don't look at someone and envy them. Look at them and know that they have been through their own hardships as well. Balance is the next card out. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and do so without judgment. And that's what that's about, isn't it? It's about that judgment, as I was saying with this envy. Don't judge people for where they are in their life, where they have been, etc. We all have our own paths. They are all complete, completely different. The universe gives us what we need to deal with. You do not see what other people go through. And if you do see some of what they go through and think it's easy for them, it's actually really incredibly hard. OK, so I'm also feeling with this balance as well. Do this emotional hard work, but rest. OK, look deep and then rest. Spend your time on your own, but also spend your time with those that care about you. Everything works best when it is balanced. OK, don't shut yourself away from friends because friends are there to support you. Shut the door when you need to, but open it when you need to, too. So the animal spirit that's come through for you is the humpback whale and it says music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing playing an instrument or listening okay so if this friend isn't in your life at this time and um, this person who can be there to emotionally support you etc it may be that you could attend some sort of um, group related to music um, and that's that could be a way of opening the door for these friendships to come in. Um, it could just mean that it is time to listen to music to help it lift your soul, because when you are going through these emotional times, it's so hard to slip the other way into depression, um, into anxiety, etc. Lift your mood by listening to music. What I'm also seeing 
because of all this water and we then have another water animal here and um, that's quite watery too maybe sounds of the ocean particularly um if when you watch this you're still in isolation period um the the ocean the sea is so healing and if you've been locked away for weeks and you really really want to go to the sea which i know because i'm feeling it now i really want to be going to the sea go on to youtube and have a look for sea sounds okay you could even use the songs of the whales okay because they do have whale music don't they that is very calming and very soothing so you could use that but i'm feeling that for some of you it would really benefit you if you looked for some music like with the sounds of the sea in the background etc so i'm just going to pull one final card from my unicorn deck and i'm going to ask what is a final message for those that resonate with this reading for group three what final message do we have for group three One final message, please, just one. That is too many. One final message for group one, uh, sorry, group three. There we go. We have Queen of the Unicorns. You are blessed with love, compassion and wisdom. OK, so this is knowing that you are being watched over. I'm just seeing this is like you and you are being watched over um, by whatever higher beings you relate to. Be it the angels, be it the unicorns, be it the universe, be it God, etc. You are being watched over. You are blessed. OK, this transformation is happening for a reason and you are going through it for a reason. Just know. That when you emerge from this transformation, OK, it is bringing you to a place where you are more accepting of love, where you are more compassionate, where you because with this envy card when you are looking at people and wishing that you could live their life etc okay um you are you're not showing yourself compassion recognize your strength see what is within you this transformation is going to be bringing out more and more of the best side of you okay this is about you living your highest best good self okay really involve really evolving into who you truly are your true essence that light that is lighting up your heart is being reignited okay it is moving you forward this is huge transformation just be gentle with yourself as you are going through it so i'm hearing be gentle with yourself take the time to be compassionate with yourself if you can be compassion give compassion to others give compassion to yourself as well okay so if this is resonating with you please give me that thumbs up let me know that you are liking it if you feel inclined, click on that subscribe button. But having said that, you take care of yourself. Stay focused. Know that this phase of transformation will come to an end. Accept it for what it is. See it for what it is. Accept the lessons and the blessings that are coming to you at this time. And I will see you again soon. You take care. Bye bye.